Well, I think it's a, a very interesting uh, and remarkable development, which I think probably took the whole world off balance because no one was expecting it. I mean, no one thought there could be such an agreement. So it had been ruled out in the, in the mind, the global mind for so long, you know, that when, when, uh, 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 when it was announced, I mean, it came as a kind of shock, I think. And I notice it's one of the few things that China's done which didn't get attacked from the West because how could you attack it? It was impossible to attack it. And then the next question is, well, where did this come from? Because, okay, we know that China's become more prominent in the Middle East. But to pull off an agreement between uh, Saudi Arabia and Iran, that's a different kind of question altogether. And I think that in if... I mean, I, I think it's going to have very, very widespread ramifications in the Middle East. It's going to... Th people, th people, uh, things that people thought were frozen uh, in per perpetuity now clearly are not frozen in perpetuity. And so it's unravelling. But that also has wider implications. People think... You know, Europeans are thinking, for example, because they're now facing the fact that this war is not going to end any time soon, soon, it's an impasse. And then they start thinking, well, if China could broker that, why can't it sort out the Ukraine war for us? So I think that that's, that, I mean, I think that's, it's contributed significantly to a certain limited shift in European thinking, you know, we better stay close to China. And the outcome, in a way, one of the, one, I mean, uh, there's a prehistory to this, but is Macron's position. Now, Macron's position is, is very interesting, it seems to me, because what Macron's doing now is stepping outside uh, the American position on the UK and war, but the relationship with China. And Macron's saying, look, we need, to, you know, China's very important to us. Uh, uh, we see our future tied up with China. Uh, we don't support um, attempts to isolate China or contain China. Now, that's, you know, France is one of the leading countries in the European Union. China is the biggest trading partner of, uh, you know, 140 countries in the world or something extraordinary. And so tri China's trading imprint, its footprint, is across the world it's huge. What does that mean? I mean, that's not just trade as a physical thing, that's rela tr relationships. So China has very extensive relationships across the world, much more than the United States. No the United States is trading in is much smaller. So therefore China is doing business, but not just business in the narrow sense, but also uh, diplomatically, because that's very fundamental to the way trade works uh, with lots and lots of countries. So China probably has now a, a very, very developed perception of what the problems are in all sorts of parts of the world. And maybe, you know, of course, everything's been frozen, hasn't it, for three years because of the pandemic and so on. But now, and you can feel this in China, you can feel this with China now, uh, it, there's a kind of outpouring, there's an energy, there's a new scent. I mean, China started this year with a bang, I think, and it's done extremely well this, this last three or four months. Uh, and so the possibility must be that maybe some other things could be, could move, but who knows? Yeah. I don't know.